Many of you have been teaching online for the last year using some sort of pen display or maybe something like an Intuos Pro or something like that uh, to write on the screen. But now you're back to teaching in the classroom and you want to be able to use this on an overhead projector screen. So as you can see, normally you would just hook this, this pen display, a Wacom one in this case, up to your computer and it would do whatever you draw on the screen is gonna work on here, but you don't have an outlet to hook to a projector display. So there's a lot of different ways to do it, graphic cards and things like that. But what I came up with that works for me is an HDMI splitter. So I plug my Wacom in here. I plug my overhead projector here. You have a USB power cord and you have your HDMI plug in. And I've noticed mine seems to work without this, at least graphically. Then the other end of the plug, you know, you plug it into your power outlet and this plugs into your pen display. One thing I did notice with this adapter here is there is a, a lowering of the volume. So, you know, that may be an issue or maybe not. It wasn't an issue in my class. People just got quiet and listened to it. But it seemed to cut the volume a fair amount. Um, so if you're gonna use a PDF, uh, sometimes it's handy, you know, you can, you can draw, you can, of course, you can use this like any type of stylus, but say you wanna draw on the PDF, depends on what version you have. Uh, you know, if I wanted to draw, I mean, I could hit uh, tools up here, you hit comment, I could take my marker, I could, I could draw on screen, off screen, whatever I wanted to do. If you wanted to enlarge something in a PDF, you can uh, push the button on the pen, hold it on the screen, or tap the screen, and you can click marquee zoom. And then for instance, if, uh, if I wanted to enlarge whatever they're doing right here, you know, I just, you can tap the screen and, um, you know, go in and out on things. And then of course, now you've, you've zoomed in on something. So now of course, you know, you can, you can draw on that individual thing. And then when you go back down, it's smaller and you can just continue on using that, uh, as you normally would. And that's, really handy when you're going through a uh, PDF, if you have a picture of say a fire hydrant, you can enlarge it. And generally, you know, they, they've, they're quite detailed with stuff. Um, it can be very handy there. Now for PowerPoints, so we can open these up. For PowerPoints in the slide master view, you can immediately start drawing on slides. You just basically click draw, you hit your tool, uh, you know, you got your drop down box here. But what's really neat is, is being able to draw very easily. You know, I can take and, you know, do uh, math problems. And of course I'm writing large, so it shows up on your screen. If you look at the screen from the back of the classroom, you'll notice when I'm drawing, uh, you can easily see this. Now, right now, the camera doesn't quite do it justice, but I'll draw in black so it comes up a bit better. One thing I have noticed is if I'm sitting down and I'm talking, I can face my class or whatever, and I'm drawing, I can look at them and then they're looking at the board and they're kind of stuck to it like people watch a fire or flies around a light bulb or something like that because it's it's like magic. It's, it's like watching a cartoon. The numbers just appear on the board while I'm talking. And I believe it catches their attention. Just maybe it's an entertainment factor too. They, they do like it though. I actually made some math teaching videos in the style of Khan Academy, and they told me they had rather watch my math video than watch me draw it at the whiteboard. Now starting here, just on the pad, of course you'll see anything on this that you're gonna see on the overhead projector, because right now I have the displays duplicated where this, my laptop, and projector are all showing the same thing. So if you're in a, uh, basically a Word document, sometimes we want to take and maybe we want to go along and 
go up and down, move around, but we want to pause and draw something. So, you know, you could you could insert a drawing canvas somewhere if you wanted to and, you know, draw whatever you wanted to. All those different functions are, are easy to do. Or maybe uh, while you're on the page, you want to draw on a word or cross something out, or maybe you just want to highlight something as you're going through. I mean, maybe I say, if you're ready to write, just select a line. But what they would be seeing on the overhead, I could say, replace it with your own. You need a heading. And notice as I'm drawing along, if I do the bottom lines, this style is called a bullet list. And I'm, basically I can call attention in a different way to whatever I'm doing. Then what they use on Khan Academy is a uh, smooth draw. So this is, uh, I might've paid this may be free, it may have been 20 bucks, I'm not sure, but this is Smooth Draw 4.0.5. There's a lot of different editions, things like that. So I go up, I select the pen tool. The first thing you'll need to do with this is you'll, you've will you got a color bar up here. You can go across and select different things. So if you're doing something, I mean, you could do that and different colors and things like that. Or you take your mouse on your, so my computer screen's over here. So I take my mouse and you'll see the cursor moving right here. I'll go up and select, uh, you know, you can select that green and then you can move. And if you look at this little block here, it shows you your color as you move it up and down, that block changes intensity. And then, so if you like this intensity here, you go down to the bottom there and then you'd right click and it programs that palette color into that block. So now when I'm drawing, I can go, you know, with different colors and, just keep in mind, you know, say if you're doing isometrics and stuff like that, you can draw the vertical lines and, uh, you know, one color and then, you know, stuff to the right and another. And of course, other pipes into something else. And when you draw your your view, your three different views over here, if, if the color coordination with different pipes going left, right, up, down, things like that, if you match those colors in with your isometric drawing. Many times I've had that just instantly click with people. Um, one other thing is, so we did some uh, some offsets for a sprinkler head in one of the classes a year or so ago. And you have these backgrounds that you can, or these layers that you can create ahead of time for class. So for instance, we had, I was just gonna do something like, okay, you know, if you've got, you know, a foot here and a foot there, you know, you can, so one foot, one foot, okay, so you got your A, your B, your C. I mean, self-explanatory, how you could teach this out to do your offset. Oh, so then we we've, we've did that already. Okay, so now notice I closed the background layer over here and I have something pre-drawn. And I can ask them to figure, you know, I can talk my way through this. I can just, I could just sketch this up, sketch this room up, label a few things, and then I'll leave these blank. So if I'm, if I just want to change it up for, for whatever the next class is, uh, you know, I can, um, I would, I would have to take and go through and do a couple things here to turn this on, but I could take and, and erase this and just insert another number in there. Erase this, insert another number, and then, just by me changing around some stuff, the class can go and, and do up different things. So then I take that. So now I have the take out of a fitting. I've, I've pre-drawn and we can do some stuff there, but you see how I can have many things ready ahead of time. And, and in addition to that, these, these numbers come up just as neat and as fast as I write them. So that's just a thing for me explaining how to do something there ahead of time. And uh, then here's some problems. And as they go through, I can take and I can write down their answers as they call them out on the board. And, uh, you know, we got another way to, to, to teach something else, you know, to find some, some uh, angles and things like that. Um, just, just teaching different thing. And the magic numbers, I try to get them to, to remember, uh, of course, these two numbers here, and then you can do anything with. So. Uh, hopefully this video wasn't too long, but uh, as you can see, the, the sky's the limit with the different things that, that you can do with this uh, drawing program here as far as teaching overhead. But 
it really does make a big difference to people when I'm up here drawing things and it makes it easier on me because I don't have to go back and forth to the board and uh, you know I'm not cleaning a whiteboard I'm busy doing uh, different things and I can just keep on going with what I'm doing I think it makes it more efficient it's more captivating and I'm never standing in front of what I just wrote one other thing, just in case somebody wanted to know more about this smooth draw, is uh, you can enlarge this and just show this on your screen and stuff like that. At least teaching online or when I made videos, I've done things where I just recorded this portion where they weren't looking at this, getting distracted. So, I mean, there are different things you can do, but if uh, a while ago you saw the uh, thing pop up, so I couldn't draw on here. Um, so I have to select the layer, and that's actually erasing something, whereas uh, this may be drawing on something. So to undo, I'm hitting the undo up there, but say I go back to this, and I wanted to come down and, and do some, some writing here, so it's not letting me say it, say it didn't let me draw anything on this in my own layer four i have to select it over there and this eyes open and close which one so it's just a way of flipping through so it's a little bit of stuff to learn through but uh this is what they use to do the khan academy videos and uh anyway hopefully the video wasn't too long <laughs>